Hi friends, welcome back to Learning Time with Maura Bela. And today I have two books I want to read together. And I would love if you come along and read them with me. Are you ready? The first book is called The Napping House. Have you ever read The Napping House before? Let's read it. Are you ready? The Napping House by Audrey Wood and Don Wood. They are the ones who wrote it. They are the authors of this book. The Napping House. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny. <sighs> on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child on a snoring granny. <sighs> on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog. Woof, woof, a dozing dog on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, <sighs> on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that dog, there is a cat, meow, a snoozing cat on a dozing dog, woof, woof, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, <sighs> on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that cat, there is a mouse, squeak, squeak, a slumbering mouse on a snoozing cat, meow, on a dozing dog, woof, woof, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, <sighs> on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be a wakeful flea? Little tiny flea, can you see it? On a slumbering mouse, squeak, squeak. On a snoozing cat, meow. On a dozing dog, woof, woof. On a dreaming child, on a snoring granny. <sighs> on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse, squeak. Who scares the cat, <gasps> meow, who claws the dog, woof, who thumps the child, who bumps the granny, who breaks the bed, oh, this looks crazy, in the napping house where no one now is sleeping. They all woke up because of the little tiny flea. And do you see the big rainbow on top of their house? Because now the sun came up and there's a rainbow and they are playing in the yard. Hooray! That was such a fun book. I love The Napping House. Thank you for reading it with me. Are you ready for another book? This book is about a firefighter named Pete the Cat. Have you ever read other books by Pete the Cat about him? Because he has a lot of different adventures. And in this book, he's going to be a firefighter. Are you ready to come along and see? Oh, Pete the Cat, firefighter Pete. And the author of this book is James Dean. He wrote the book. 
We are going on a class trip today, says Principal Nancy. She leads the class to a bright yellow school bus. Everyone climbs on board. I wonder where we're going, says Pete. They are going to visit the firehouse today. The bus parks next to the bright red firehouse. Pete and his classmates are excited. Would you feel excited if you went to visit the fire people? The firehouse is huge. It's so big it can hold two long red fire trucks and all of the firefighters equipment. That is all the stuff they need to use. The firefighters show the kids around. They give everyone a turn to ring the old brass fire bell outside the firehouse. Then all the kids take turns sliding down the firefighter's pole. Whee! Callie yells as she glides down. The firefighters let the kids try on their gear. Firefighters wear a lot of equipment. First, Pete puts on the heavy black overalls. Then he steps into the tall black boots. A firefighter helps Pete put on the heavy yellow jacket. Finally, they place a hard black helmet on Pete's head. All this gear is very heavy. Pete can barely move. He looks like a fireman, though. The firefighters allow, let the kids explore one of the fire trucks. Callie sits in the driver's seat. She presses the horn. Beep! Beep! It's so loud that all the kids cover their ears. Then Pete turns on the siren and lights. The sirens blare. Whee! The lights flash red and yellow. Suddenly, a loud bell rings in the firehouse. Bring! Uh-oh, it's the fire alarm. There's a fire in town. Gear up, Pete. The firefighters scramble into their gear very quickly. Pete puts on his gear, too. His gear is all of the clothes that he wears to protect him from the fire. The jacket and the boots and the overall and the hat. They all climb onto the fire truck and turn on the siren and lights. Firefighter Pete and the firefighters are on their way. The fire engine races through town and the lights flash round and round. A firefighter presses the horn. All of the other cars move out of the way. There's the fire. It's hot and loud, but the firefighters know exactly what to do. They work together as a team to connect the fire truck to the fire hydrant. Then the firefighters also attach a long, heavy hose to the fire truck. Firefighter Pete gives the signal and the firefighters turn on the water. Whoosh! The water gushes out very fast. Several firefighters must hold the hose to control it. Pete helps direct the hose as they spray the fire with water. The fire is starting to go out. There is smoke everywhere. Suddenly, Pete hears yelling from the roof. Oh no, it's Grumpy Toad. He needs to be rescued. The firefighters raise a long ladder from the truck. Crank, crank, crank. The ladder goes up and up and up. Firefighter Pete and another firefighter help Grumpy Toad climb down the ladder carefully. Yay, the fire is out and everyone is safe. The firefighters drive back to the firehouse. They take off all their gear. They pat Pete on the back and say, Firefighter Pete helped save the day. Good job, Pete. Hooray. Firefighter Pete put on all his gear and he went and saved the people from the, and the toad from the fire. That was such a fun adventure. And we got to see how the firefighters work. Thank you, friends, for coming along with me to ex to explore the firehouse with Pete the cat. And I'm so happy we got to read together today. Bye! Thank you for joining. I'll see you tomorrow.